So this is a sway exercise. What I've done is I've added a resistance band around my knees. Okay, in doing so, what we're going to get is a bit more, we're doing a bit of abduction, so I'm keeping the knees apart. Not only will we be doing glute max, but we'll be adding a bit of glute me into the exercise as well. So I'm taking my hips just over hip width apart, my hips, my knees and feet over hip width apart, otherwise that'd be insane, okay, to get that tension on the band. Now, I like to, this is just a me thing, interlock, bring my arms up, look, pick a point, because um, I find it keeps the back and the neck nice and straight when I'm squatting or doing any single leg exercise or double leg exercise, okay. So from here now, I'm gonna squat down, low as I can, come back up, as I come up, squeezing the glutes. And I'd like to do it almost like a hip thrust at the end. So squeeze my glutes, I push through at the hips, and then back down, and then repeat, okay? Keeping that tension up on the band as we go, not allowing the knees to buckle, yeah? Or one knee to buckle. So it is worth looking down just to make sure your knees are tracking towards your toes, like this way. They're not coming in or over. You don't want them over the toe, okay? So if you look down, you should be able to see your toes in front of your knees, and then continue like so. Ways you can progress it, squat down, hold. Hold for five to 10 seconds, building those start at five, build up to 10, and then up. Yeah, so that's one way of progressing it. And then the other more obvious one is to increase the band strength. 